Hi guys, today we're going to make hand sanitizer. This isn't a, a makey up or do it yourself hand sanitizer. Well, it is do it yourself, but this isn't some YouTuber's own recipe. Uh, this is the World Health Organization's own recipe for hand sanitizer. So let's have a look and see what ingredients we're going to use to make this. Isopropyl alcohol. 99.98% ABV. This one technically doesn't actually say isopropyl alcohol on the label, but that's what it is. I got this from an industrial company, so technically they call it 300A thinners, but that's what's in the, in the bottle. Hydrogen peroxide, food grade, 3%. Glycerol, vegetable based. Distilled water, or cooled boiled water. Okay now the link is in the description for this document. You'll get it directly from the World Health Organization's website. Uh, now in this document they're talking about making 10 litres of hand sanitizer. Now I, I don't have really the resources to make 10 litres, I've got the resources to make uh, about 2 litres. So basically I've divided all the ingredients by 10. So this is the ingredients that I have here for making a single liter of hand sanitizer, uh, I'll be making two liters using the resources that I've got. So, what's in one liter of hand sanitizer? We've got 751.5 ml of isopropyl alcohol. You can use ethanol if that's easier for you to find, and the ingredients are also in this document for that as well. 41.7 millilitres of hydrogen peroxide at 3%, 14.5 millilitres of glycerin or glycerol, and 192.3 millilitres of distilled or boiled then cooled water. Right, so let's get it done. Okay, so for purposes of mixing, because I'm not making a great deal of this stuff, I'm going to use the water 5 litre container that I've just opened and I've decanted the water into another container I'm going to use this for my mixing. So the first ingredient is 751.5 mils of isopropyl alcohol at 99.98% alcohol. Next is 41.7 millilitres of hydrogen peroxide at 3%. Next up is glycerol, 14.5 millilitres. Now the glycerol is really thick, so you're maybe going to need to use some of your distilled water or the mixture that you have in here to just rinse this out. Next up we've got 192.3 millilitres, or as closely as you can measure to that effect, of distilled or boiled then cooled water. Now we just need to stick the cap on your container and give it a good mix for a couple of minutes. Because remember the glycerol is very thick and it needs to get into suspension in the entirety of the fluid. I'll just take a couple of minutes and do this. Okay, so that's all mixed up. Now we're going to put them, put the mixture into these little bottles. Now you can put them into some of these kind of bottles if you can get hold of these. You could use a spray like this, or you could use a hand soap pump like this. Just try and make sure that it's brand new, that it's not contained soap previously. Whatever you're going to use, we need to try and put this stuff into your containers straight away. And there we go. 
one bottle of hand sanitizer. Now, you're supposed to leave this to quarantine itself so it kills off any bugs that may be in here. You're supposed to leave this for 72 hours now. So I'm going to fill the rest of these and then they can't be used for three days. Okay, so it's not as thick as your average hand sanitizer. I've got a hand sanitizer here from Carex. Look at the difference. That's quite thick and viscous. Whereas our WHO one is far more fluid. But of course the WHO one is only interested in making sure that your hands are clean and safe. It's not really interested in whether they are really soft. So, if you can find the ingredients to make your own hand sanitizer, you'll get them on eBay, Amazon, etc. Unfortunately, the prices are as they are. Uh, be careful if you're on eBay. Make sure whoever you're buying it from is a legitimate seller. Uh, unfortunately, there are some sellers who are selling isopropyl alcohol at very low prices. These are not people who are not profiteering from the current situation. These are people who will take your money and will not send you the product. Okay, so stay away from those guys. As people with very low uh, feedback on eBay, uh, people who are new, just check them out. If it looks like they are selling hand sanitizer or selling isopropyl alcohol for a ridiculous amount of money, i.e. five litres for £9.88 or something like that, including delivery, then that's not a genuine seller, unfortunately. So with hand sanitizer, it's really important to make sure that the solution is more than 60% alcohol. Now that doesn't mean that you can take some vodka and mix it with aloe vera gel because vodka only has 37.5, generally, uh, ABV, uh, and then you put some aloe vera gel into it and suddenly your mixture is less than 37.5 ABV. You need it to be 60 when it's going on your hands. So if you've got, for instance, some overproof rum, this one's 63% alcohol, I mean, technically, you could wash your hands with alcohol with this, and that would do the job. But you wouldn't want to keep doing that because there's nothing in it that's going to stop your hands from going all sore and cracked. So, please, don't follow the advice on many YouTube channels just to mix alcohol like vodka with aloe vera gel, etc. That's not going to work. This is the real deal. This is the World Health Organization's own recipe. Please share this.